Hello, my name is Gerald and today I'll be showing you how to carry a marching baritone and the different ways there are to do it. Starting off, we have front carriage. For this one, you have to make sure your, your back is straight, your chest is out a little bit. And for this, make sure your, your bell is parallel with the ground and this part of the instrument parallel with your chest. And the mouthpiece has to be at eye level. So, something like that. And your arms are have to be out, not too much like this, or like this, but somewhere in the middle. And we have horns up. For this one, your back is still straight, your posture from the last one is still the same. The only difference here is that your instrument is up. So, the horn has to be at a 10 degree angle not too much or too down, but at a 10 degree. And then your arms still have to be out, just like when you were in, in front carriage, but this time your horn is up. And for your right hand, you're gonna be uh, holding your valves. You have to make sure it's a C shape. It's gonna be way easier to play like that, because if you like do this, it's gonna be way harder to press down the valves and play. So, I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to do horns up and horns down. When we're playing, we wait 8 beats before, before actually playing. The first 4 beats, we're counting in our heads to get the tempo and make sure we know what the tempo is. And on beat 5, we bring our horns up and on on by beat six it should already be up so five you bring it up and six it should already be up seven and eight we take those counts to breathe in and then beat one after that we start playing so i'm, I'm gonna turn on the metronome 120 is our, our is our tempo one two three four up six play that's how you do horns up. Now horns down. It's a, it's a snappy movement. So let's just say we're playing right now. Five, six, seven, eight, up and down. It has to be snappy, like quickly, not slowly, not, no. It's off and down, snappy, quick movement. But not least we have side carriage also known as suitcase this is the trickiest one of all three this is why there are a lot of schools do it differently and some might do it left hand right hand different parts of the instrument but we do it with our left hand and right here in the valve with the valve casings that's where we put our hand some schools do it this part of the instrument but we do it in the valve casings so what you want to do is with your other hand you have to make a fist with your thumb above it. So when you do that you have to make sure your instrument is parallel with the ground. No matter if you're marching in a slanted um, area just like the grid it's a bit slanted but you have to try your best to make it as straight as possible. So when you're doing that make sure it's straight again parallel with the ground and both hands are a bit bent so it's not this or this it's like in the middle and it has to be parallel with the ground again and your posture is still the same from the last two examples back straight chest out but you're just your your arms are bent a little bit that's it for today. Thank you. Bye.